because we have some new people that have even joined our community in the last week or so, I wanted to go back to this diagram. It's a, another reminder that as you set up your blog, it again is your central hub. It is your, your home on the internet. Uh, when you are working with the social networks like Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and any of the social media sites, that's, that's awesome. That's where you're going to have thousands or hundreds of people at your fingertips, basically, to come in contact with. Those are the people that you're going to be able to dialogue with and interact with, ask questions. And ultimately, when they start showing interest in you, you have got to have a place to bring them back to besides your Facebook profile or your company-generated site or even just a capture page. Your blog is so much. It's, and it's so much about giving also. Just like your house, you don't invite people over to ask them to, to you know, you don't ask them to pay you money as they, as they enter your house or you don't have posters of your network marketing company nailed up on your front door. So your blog is really an attraction marketing hub. It's a place where you can really share and be transparent and, and it, you know, have it welcoming. Obviously, there's some key things with that about offering value with all the content that you provide so that people learn things, so they're entertained, they're enlightened, they're uh, inspired, uh, encouraged. You know, all of those things we constantly talk about because that's what's going to uh, attract people to you. That's what's going to draw people into your story. They're going to want to follow you. They're going to want to know more about you beyond just uh, the basics. Maybe they're so impressed by how you've educated and shared and your maybe your personality is just so fun and they, they want to be around that. So obviously when you have friends like that, you become more curious and interested in what other things are interested. You know, are they interested in other hobbies or um, business or making money or how they they do things with their family, other things. So that's what our blog is able to show. Now, as we attract more and more people to our blog, this is the opportunity for, for people that land there to subscribe to your blog. This is an invitation that you put together to invite them to follow you, uh, your updates, to uh, hear new information that you want to send out, Mostly we use it as, as a way to uh, give away some sort of free gift or offer that would attract people to wanting to subscribe. What's nice about that also is that you're able to syndicate or message all of your subscribers every time you have a new blog post. So as your subscribers grow, say to 500 or to 1,000 or more people, Every time you have a new blog post, you can go into your Get Response or your AWeber account, type up a short note, put a link to your blog post, and invite all of them to come check it out, learn something new, uh, and give you feedback about what you're sharing there. That's what brings page views. That's what brings traffic. Now, the thing is, if you're doing that all by yourself, it's, it's kind of slow. It's one at a time. Yes, you may still be able to, to accumulate a following, depending on if you know some really good social media strategies. And we're going to share more about all those social media strategies in the next modules with Facebook and Twitter because there are thousands and thousands of people that we're able to position ourselves in front of or uh, interact with on those sites to bring people back. It's not a one at a time kind of person. Uh, you know, thing. So as we work into the whole tribe concept and we connect with other bloggers and other entrepreneurs online, where you're out there promoting, uh, commenting, uh, retweeting, and you'll learn more about what that is if you don't know already with Twitter. If you're out there and you're, you're giving and supporting other people, you're promoting other people's content, it's just a natural law that people are going to want to reciprocate.
this absolutely works. So, you know, when I first got started with Twitter, I, I experimented with this and I went out and I started just asking questions and looking at people that had really good tweets. And, and I would go back to their blog and I would retweet the, their information, make a comment on it on Twitter and ask them a question about it. Nine times out of 10, I would see them come through my blog, do the same thing, uh, retweet it. We'd start a, a, a dynamic together and pretty soon we were on Skype talking and many of those people are either in this community or they're my partners right now. So we created this alliance type model. We've grown our, our tribe. We've, we, we created a, a small group of five or six guys. Now, I have to tell you, initially it started out with being in like four or five different tribes and, you know, five to ten people in each of those tribes. And people slowly showed their colors as far as how committed they were to, to being consistent, to putting out content on their blog. And ultimately, you're going to have the same experience. You want to interact with lots and lots of people within the tribe here. Obviously, we're going to put people together with you. And those that you really gel with, you like their content, you like their personality, you're going to want to private message them and really get to know them better. Do some private conversations on Skype. Because ultimately, over the long run, you are looking for your own joint venture partners. You're looking for people that can create information products together, that maybe you can create membership sites together. Again, that's down the road, but the foundation of having a very solid blog, solid content, great content, great value, and getting out there and interacting with people that you like, that you want to get to know, and ultimately you hope that you attract back so they want to get to know you.